Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, YouTubers. This is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon and Flat Earth Homeland. <clears throat> Should I ever get any of these videos uploaded there? I will try. I'm just trying to repertorize things there, um, archive things there, for the purpose of future accessibility and people coming there. We have a battle going on about the uh, shape of the Earth, if you're not aware of that, and that's what I'm going to deal with a little bit here. Flat Earth, the reflection of the sun over the ocean touching our feet disproves the globe Earth. This is by William Guzman. Guzman, 18,000 subscribers. Shout out to William. He's done some awesome stuff. Okay. The only way the light can reach me is if the water is flat from the horizon to me. I, I, I did a video. I, I Here. At the time I got the mirrors that I did my other videos with, I got a uh, helium balloon. I'm not going to move the camera. But you lay that flat surface, shine a light across it. It looks just like this scene, ocean, with a light coming across it. You blow it up. They got a little tight little... Uh, I got a pen stuck in the opening. <clears throat> blow it up. No light to your feet. Sorry. Case closed. People are freaking brainwashed. Uh, too much time on the uh, brainwashing TV and stuff. We're going to go into that. I'm going to touch on that in a video here coming up shortly. Look up uh, Richie from Boston and look up the patents. He has one video called uh, TV Will Kill You and the uh, latest one about um, the patents on that. Oh my gosh. Listen to that and read the patents. Hulu. Hulu. We're aliens. We're trying to take over the world. It's an evil plot to take over the world. That's just what we do. That's how we roll. Alec Baldwin. <clears throat> yeah. Little green hand coming out of his jacket and straightening his tie. As they watch the sunspot on the ocean floor, the ocean surface, I would say. Sorry. I wonder how it is the hot spot stretches from the horizon all the way to my feet. If the earth is a ball, the light cannot curve around the ball because the sun is setting behind the ball. This is a fact. Oh, man, people are brainwashed. If the earth is a ball, the light cannot curve around the ball. The sun is setting behind the ball. Just getting different shots of this. The only way the light can reach me is if the water is flat from the horizon to me. <clears throat> the angle of reflection equals the angle of incidence. Whether it's a laser or the sunlight, it does not make any difference. Light bounces off of a surface at the same angle that it hit the surface. And if the Earth is a ball, sunlight, I don't care if it's 93 million miles away, I don't care if it's 10,000 times larger than the Earth, it would bounce off the Earth, the surface of the globe, of the ocean, at the angles that it, it, it struck them, it incidented them incidented you know <laughs> angle of incidence equals the angle of reflection angle of reflection equals the angle of incidence you cannot change that can't break it can't can't dispute it well you can dispute it uh, I have such a collection of trolls on my channel it is unbelievable <laughs> hey trolls here's here's one for you here's one for you guys uh, do some study on accelerometer and gyroscopes in smartphones they don't know where down is, and they don't know that gravity exists. And if you get on a plane and set it, and get off the plane somewhere else on the Earth, it should have set itself to a different position, and it does not, because it's level. All right. Now, you notice in a lot of these, these real photos, that the camera, you know, if, if the camera was over here, the light would come right to it. But that beam is coming directly to the camera over that water. Okay. Oh, I, I did this. Yeah, flat earth, the reflection of the sun over the ocean touching our feet disproves the globe. Just caught that and I did a picture of it. <clears throat> I'd try to give credit where credit is due and, you know, link, links and all that. But, man, a one, one person job, I don't, you know, I don't. Sometimes I just get the video up. That's it. Moving on to the next thing. 
I mean, yeah, there, there's waves. These could be large waves, but it just means that they're, you know, everywhere where the sun hits that, it is reflecting. Bang, bang, bang. I don't understand perspective. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand. Yeah. And the idiotic, filthy, horrible things that I have been called is, is just, uh, <clears throat> it's not humorous. It's terribly sad, the uh, mentality of the people uh, in the world. So, yeah, just uh, look up that video, go through it, listen to it. It's pretty cool. So, I'm going to do a video with my balloon here before long. You know, from Hawaii to the west <clears throat> could be 3,000 miles of flatness or of Earth. Let's say it's a globe. But when the sun is down, let me see if I can find one. That's moon. Certainly there's got to be one in here. That was close. That's closer. No, tell me there's not one here. That's really close. That one's close. Okay. You know, if the sun was half above the horizon, the Horus eye zone, <clears throat> and half of below, and you're in Hawaii and you're looking west or you're in California, you're looking to Hawaii about 3,000 miles, um, that's 3,000 miles. That hello in that space in that distance, do the math. Do, period, the, period, math, period. 3,000 times 3,000 times 0.666. Say it's 1,000 miles. Okay? 1,000 times 1,000 times 666 gives you uh, something like uh, 66. Is it 66,000? I'm not going to get the you know calculators here and there. And <coughs> um what the hey? Clackulator. There you go. Clear. Let's say it's only a thousand miles. Times. Equals. Times. Point. Six. 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 Got to get that six, six, six in there, people. That's your answer in feet. Okay, divided by 5,280, you have 126 miles of rise of curvature of drop that you don't have. Okay, it's flat. It's flat. It's flat, people. It's flat. Okay, it's pretty doggone obvious to a thinking person, but to those who are completely, totally, and successfully brainwashed, it's not that obvious. Okay. So, there you go. Um, where's the one that I had lined up? Um, that one's about as close as I can get, you know. <clears throat> thousand miles two to three hundred miles of curvature in that interim space and if it was three thousand miles from Hawaii to where the sun is setting you got about a thousand miles of curvature in between okay that's not what you are seeing do you understand the sun would be behind I mean if that is it would be a lot lower Anyway, I know. Hammer me, insult me, do whatever. The last, he who laughs last, laughs best. There's a mountain that is probably, I'm going to say, 140 miles away, judging by other, a lot of other photo shoots out there. And by the way, you can see a mountain. This is on Beyond Horizons website. They are globalists. They are globe heads, globe tards, whatever. They're not aware of the controversy. don't seem to be aware of the controversy. They think that light bends over a distance of 275 miles, but they have pictures of a mountain that looks like that 
at 273, okay, 273 miles. Do, period, the, period, math, period. It don't work. Mountain would be completely obscured by, you'd be looking through the earth. I mean, I, this is so simple, so clear, so plain. Um, yeah, you accuse me of being retarded, whatever. How about it? Be my guest. Oh, I didn't finish. Yeah, there's some moon shots here. <clears throat> Flat Earth Moon reflects light on water. There's a whole bunch of these. Moonlight Experiment, repeatable. Mr. Thrive and Survive, good channel. Look him up. Um, David Fulford, not newbie, 53 subscribers. By the way, trolls, beware of watching this stuff because the more you watch it, the more you're going to be uh, in danger of being converted and become a flat earther. And I will just say this flat out. I think there's about 20, maybe 30 trolls on my channel right now because of my flat earth stuff. Uh, I will tell you for a fact that probably one or two, maybe three of you will be flat earthers by the end of the year. So beware. I would suggest you go away. if you Because every time you write, you're just convincing other people of the truth. Because you can't write English. You can't write without using... Uh, curse words and swear words and f filthy language. You have the language and mentality of a fifth grade hoodlum, a rookie, a, 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 a just a, a no name, worthless hoodlum. That's all you guys. That's the, what most of you have the mentality of. Some of you can actually think, and some of you, yeah, no doubt, are smarter than me. But if you're if you think that this is light shining over curved water. <laughs> Not there. It's flat, and, and the thing is, you can run a laser across this. You know, and he, he, hello. How about the U.S. Navy railgun? Hundred miles flat shooting. What's the curvature of one hundred miles? Do period the period math period you morons. Okay, do the math. It can't happen. Hundred miles flat shooting Mach seven. Is it 5,300 miles an hour? Flat water, run a laser across it, run sunlight across it, same damn difference. Run a camera across it, same difference. Okay? No, no difference whatsoever. Flat. This is what the sunlight would look like if you had a cur this is a curved surface of water with a setting sun out there okay that is what you would look like that is what you would see if the sun was shining on it would be the opposite you know this this is a convex curving you're talking about a i mean a concave curving and so this is inside the tunnel of a surfer with a lens on um but that's what it would look like you can see the, the light is bending up there, and you say, oh, yeah, light bends, light refracts. Yeah, it would. But on the water, over the surface of the water, the light would be bent. You would not have a straight shot, especially not like that one. <laughs> That's like laser clean straight. All right? Couldn't have it. Absolutely impossible on a ball. You want to listen to a neat song, listen to... Um, Darren, uh, I won't go back to the ball. Yeah, cool song. Won't go back to the ball. But uh, there you go. All right. So this is Jerry Diamond with How to Get Out of Babylon and Flat Earth Homeland. And I just got to say, enjoy the truth. Look up the stuff on, uh, I did. A, I have a video, uh, a video playlist on gyroscopes, and toward the tail end of that is a lot of the newer stuff on iPhone, Droid, you name it, uh, and the capability of them to actually uh, prove Flat Earth. Now, I put some pro and con on there. There's one guy that plays around with the video game, and he says, no, it can't happen, it, can't, it doesn't have anything to do with it. So, watch them, consider it. Um, if you understand it, if you can understand it, 
and want to try to debunk it, go ahead, do a video. But you find a video where this scene here is curved. You can see that over a period of 500 miles. You could be out on a, on a peninsula and see 200. We know that you can see 250 miles in one direction because the mountain, photograph of a mountain at 273 miles. So let's say 250 miles to the east, 250 miles to the west, and a ship goes over the horizon. You say a ship disappears over the curvature of the earth, over the horizon in a matter of 10 miles going south. Okay? That means that 10 miles this direction and 10 miles this direction, you would have to see curvature. You don't. Okay? So, it's all wet. There is no debate. This is not a debate. There's How, do, how does this work and how does that work? Yeah. How do the, you guys are all so focused on the stars. Oh, the stars, this and the stars, that. We're not living on the stars, and you don't even know what the stars are. So, you know, we're living on the Earth, and that scenario right there, every one of these, water is flat. Okay? Flat, 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 flat. It's flat, Jim. It's flat, Jim. It's flat, Jim. Look at that one. 250 miles this way, 250 miles this way, off, you know, way off the screen there. You could be looking 1,000, 3,000 miles toward the sun there, the setting sun to the west. Okay? It's flat. Laser line level flat. They call it sea level for a reason. All right. Yep, have at it. Enjoy yourselves. Entertain yourselves. No, this is not a joke. I am not joking. No, this is for real. We have had the wool pulled over our eyes. We have been, you know, fooled. But we're not going to be fooled no more. <laughs> All right. This is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant. And you trolls <laughs> are not part of the remnant, so I'm sorry. And, and another one to stick in your pipes and smoke. Every single day there are more and more atheists who look at flat earth and try to debunk it and realize suddenly that the Bible is true and the Bible is correct because what they can see with their own eyes. These are people, a lot of them, a lot smarter than anybody listening to my voice right now. Okay? Military pilots, I mean, you know, bankers, you know, everybody from every walk of life, atheists from every walk of life are realizing that they've been lied to. Do you realize that you have been lied to big time? Do you think we went to the moon? You know, there's no dust on the landing pod, the leg uh, just so many absurdities or stupidities. Oh, we destroyed the technology. We can't go back because we destroyed the technology. But we can go to Mars. Come on, get real, people. They didn't go to the moon. Anyway, NASA. NASA, Hebrew, deceive. Look at the word up. NASA, to deceive. They picked the word correctly. NASA, Satan. You got the vector symbol like forming a T, a Tau in Hebrew. Nasat, Satan, Santa, all the same thing. Anyway, make fun, but realize nobody becomes a flat earther and then becomes a globalist, other than if they're paid really well, like Joe Rogan. You know, who the hell cares about who what Joe Rogan thinks? He has so completely decimated his credibility with anybody that has a brain. Um, but anyway... Nobody, it's a one-way street. It's a one-way, it's like a check valve. You know, water can get in, but it can't get back. Electricity, didn't, it's like a, uh, a diode, reverse blocking diode. Electricity goes in that direction, but it don't come back. All right. Y'all are going in one direction. Y'all are coming toward flat earth. You keep looking at flat earth. You keep coming this way. You're going to get through the check valve at one point or another. You're going to leak through, and there ain't going to go on back. Once you see it, there is no going back. Point being is, in a matter of time, and it'll take a little about time, maybe five years, if they don't start a world war, which they're going to, then 
everybody will understand that what a joke, man! How could we ever? As Darren uh, Nesbitt says, um, I can't believe I believe. I can't. I'm amazed that I believe that shit. You know, whatever. We got to stand stand back and take a look at it. Take a second look at it. <clears throat> but uh, there ain't no going back. So your numbers dwindle daily. Your atheism sucks, and it's not real. And if you read the Bible, and look at the facts in front of your eyes, the firmament, and see how the sun operates and how the moon operates. When Joshua said, "Sun stand now still." in the um, Valley of Agilon and moon stand now still over the, yeah, the Valley of Agilon. He was not saying earth stop spinning. He said sun stop, moon stop, period, eek, stop. They did, okay, period. Um, sun is moving over the earth. Moon is moving over the earth. Y'all are believing in a fairy tale, and someday, hopefully, you will escape that fairy tale, get out of that matrix. Take the pill and see how far the rabbit Trail goes. Rabbit hole goes. Okay? All right. This is Jerry Diamond. If you're listening to this, you are the remnant.